previously in part two of Where is Home? Fleur thought she had found a lovely little cave among some rocks as her new home, but it was already occupied with foxes. Scared, she flew out of the hole as quickly as she could and darted across the lake. But danger lied ahead in the form of an alligator stealthily waiting and opening its big jaws to have Fleur for dinner. At the last minute, she saw him and shot straight up into the sky as if she was a shooting star. Why is everything trying to eat me? She thought as she trembled in the night air. And with tears in her eyes, she descended on a lonely looking tree and perched on a lonely branch as lonely as she. And now continues part three of Where is Home? As Fleur sat on the branch, wondering what to do, she heard some beautiful chirping from up above. She looked up and a few branches above was a lovely bluebird chirping happily away. The bird looked down and saw Fleur and flew down and perched right beside her. Hi, I'm Azul. Why are you crying? Fleur looked up and said, I have no home and was almost eaten twice. Azul said, In this life, dangers and heartaches will come, but home is not a physical place. It is where your heart is. What is your name? I'm Fleur. Well, Fleur, I'm sorry you had a tough day, but you are welcome to stay in my home until you find a place that your heart desires. Azul nudged Fleur and motioned for her to fly up to the branches where she just came from. Cold and tired, Fleur flew up and saw that Azul had made a wonderful comfortable home in the trunk of this massive tree. Are you sure I can stay here with you? Azul replied, sure, as long as you need to. Us birds have to stick together and help each other out. Help yourself to some worms and make yourself at home. As Fleur snuggled in her new home, she felt at peace and content. Even though the nest is not hers, Azul's kindness allowed her to know that home is where the heart is, and for now, her heart was here, safe and sound. One day, she will build her own nest and be out on her own, but for now, she had found some peace, and she drifted off to sleep. Later that night, she heard rustling. She opened one eye, and then two. Can you imagine two big eyes looking back at you? Just as soon as Fleur thought she had found a place that she could at least relax for a little while and call home, what new terror is this to face her and her new friend Azul? Tune in for the continuation of this series to find out where is home. <laughs>